on to the second part of this website design tutorial okay so <clears throat> we did our basic template structure and we're on the navigational bar right now and it's looking pretty good possibly we could make it a little better by making um, the font here smaller okay but you can just play around with it on your design and kind of try and get a better effect in here. I'm not really going to go into it. This is a basic tutorial. I don't want to go into that much detail. But so we have our basic um, structure here. We're going to go ahead and make the logo now. So go ahead and make a new group. Name that logo. Now you want to see how we can do this here. Go ahead and select your uh, navigational bar layer and go to select load selection. Okay. Now go back to your logo group and make a new layer. Now move the selection to the left and try to have it at, at the same amount of space like as it is on the left and right side. Okay so now select your paint bucket tool and you wanna fill the selection with the gray okay now move your logo under the navigational bar okay okay now select um, the selection you just made and set an inner shadow to that okay set the distance to zero and about 60 per 60 percent opacity <clears throat> okay now you might want to set a gradient overlay on that as well and set that on overlay okay Oh, let me just check something here. About 55% opacity. Um, okay. About 50 55% opacity. Okay, now you want to. We're, we're just going to do a basic um, text logo. Maybe with a shape or something like that. So let's just name this. Text. Okay. Now make sure you have uh, a white, um, a white color selected. Okay. Just a basic um logo. Yeah, you could really um, text logos like this a lot of people don't realize the potential but you can make a lot of different logos with just text so you want to take advantage of that okay, so now we have our basic logo pretty basic pretty simple okay now let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and do um, the content area. Okay. So go ahead and make a, a new group and name that content. Content. Okay. Now I think we could do just a simple basic content right here and a slider at the bottom to make it a little better so we could do that just go ahead and go back to your logo um, group and duplicate the gray selection you had now let's put that right about here okay actually this is just gonna this is gonna be our footer um, and then we'll make the slider after the footer so just do that uh, 
you could move this up and make a new group called footer okay now drag that in there and control T transform your selection so it goes all the way to the end right here okay now if you guys have any comments or any suggestions as how I should do these tutorials please like feel free to send a message leave a comment um, I love getting some feedback you know now of course I don't this isn't gonna be exactly perfect it might not be aligned 100 percent perfectly um, you could actually use the ruler tool or zoom in and make sure uh, press control R to make the ruler tool appear uh, which is right here as you can see um, I don't really want to go into perfecting this template too much okay so there might be some flaws okay so we have our basic footer now let's go ahead and add some simple footer text um, copyright C copyright a text group uh, right see I'm kinda lagging right now I'm actually rendering another video um, sorry about that all rights reserved okay now make that about 12 pixels big um, actually maybe a little bit bigger Okay, and let's actually just use Arial uh, the font for the footer and our content text. So this this is a basic font. You should already have it installed. Okay. So let's set this to twelve. Um, and I'm not gonna go ahead. And Again, go into too much detail as far as grabbing like the copyright symbol and uh, things like that. So just use your imagination, you know. Um, okay, so now let's go ahead and duplicate our logo and just add one at the bottom right corner. Um, now move that into your footer group so you can see it, of course. Okay, maybe resize it a little bit. Okay. See, I kind of squished it a little bit by accident. Actually, let's just move it down here. Okay. Okay, now resize it a little tiny bit. Move it up a little bit. Okay. Okay, so now we have our basic structure, the footer, um, and the navigational bar. So now we could add some basic content. I'm not really that good at the content areas. Um, I just like to keep it simple, basic. Depending on the client I have, depending on what they want, I can't really just off the top just design uh, content areas for some reason. But just use your imagination on the content area. Uh, whatever you need your website to do, of course, or if you're just doing this as practice, you can do it how I do it. Um, but yeah okay so let's actually I, we could do this a uh, very a simpler way I actually um, recently created another tutorial um, we're just gonna open that up and grab uh, the content we used in there 
Now this is pretty simple. All I did was uh, here when it opens up. All I did was uh, just add a number and then a basic paragraph. Okay. So, and I got the filter text from uh, Lipsum.com. Uh, just a moment here if I can find. Okay, content. Okay, full content. Let's go ahead and uh, move this to a new window and drag that in there. In our current template. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, now, um, one second here. Okay, um, see, it looks pretty good. Now, you could just keep a content area like this in the full section, or, uh, or you could add a slider and do this at about half the length it is so why don't we one second I'm just gonna fill out the whole uh, content section and then do a slider on the bottom of it okay oh see we're lagging a little bit sorry about that Okay, now on this text, I actually set um, the the spacing between uh, sentences at 30 points. So you can do that by clicking here and going right here and setting it to 30. Now we're using Arial, a basic font, at regular. So you could set that as well. Now let's go ahead and even out the content here. Okay. Might have made this a little more, a little harder than it has to be. Um, see, we're lagging a little bit because the video I'm rendering again. Mm, I probably should have just grabbed some new filter text, but that's all right. So you um, you could do this by just I mean it's pretty using the test text tool, setting a bigger uh, numeral, okay, so to speak, and then adding your uh, your content in a new layer, in a new text layer. <clears throat> Okay, so let's go ahead and space this out. Okay, I went ahead and spaced out our content text here. Now, go on to the next video, and we're going to make the slider and finish off the template. I'm actually running out of time, so move on to the next video.